This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza, sliceonbroadway.com. And listeners like you, support this show at patreon.com slash awesomecast. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at sidekickmediaservices.com. Hey guys, it's time to get geeky, get awesome. It is the Awesome Cast, episode 475 here in the Sorotron Media Studios in the Beachview neighborhood of Pittsburgh. And it is the end of the year edition, except for that thing that I recorded with Chilla that I just remembered it recorded. Chilla, we did a thing. We did do a thing. We did do a thing. I thought you were going to put it out on Christmas Eve. It's going to be Christmas Eve. I was like, oh, this is the last thing you're going to get in your feed. But I'm like, wait, we did a thing. I told my whole family they got to take the night off and just watch the... There you go. There you go. We do have a home automation special that's coming up on Christmas Eve that I remember to put in the feed. Uh, But (laughs) other than that, uh, this is the big (laughs) holiday edition and the gang is all here, of course, as mentioned. John Chichilla, Big Bank International Gadget Guru. That's me. How are you doing today? Doing all right. Doing all right. And also with us back in the studio Hi. and suitably Star Wars christmas up. I, I like that. Was you, it? I can feel your presence. Presence. <laughs> and we got Darth and some stormtroopers with Santa hats. Mm-hmm. Wait, is that is that a little Death Star with uh-huh. a bow on top? Oh, yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> That's great. We actually, we actually got Star Wars PJs. Aww. The whole family matching. Merry Force be with you. <laughs> nice. Nice. I'm loving the like you know we were driving somewhere and I saw we saw R2D2 with the Santa hat somebody had out front so and we got a whole collection of people uh, on remote with us thanks to Google Hangouts they haven't killed it yet uh, so we'll see how that goes uh, with us first because he's the one that's popped up here Mike Pound with us he's hi a, hi our newspaper friend from the Post Gazette. Um. Yeah, I'm. I'm. I'm uh, happy to 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 do this again. Um. I had to go back and look and see what my my prediction was. And see oh, we long, got we got long, we got all those to pull up later to shame everybody in their. Uh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be ashamed. cheer or shame everybody right in their oh, predictions nice. for the year. So, um, I, I remember. I think I was shamed when I gave my prediction last year. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> so, uh, also with us, Cynthia Klosky. Howdy. Hi, what are you up to these days? It's been so long. Oh, same old thing. You know, trying to persuade people to buy services and things for other companies. You know, advertising, marketing. Ooh. Never changes. Still a shift collaborative, right? Still a shift collaborative. Awesome. Um, here in, in lovely East Liberty. Mm-hmm. Awesome. Great crew. I've done some fun pro- projects with you guys in the past. Also, back with us in his... Deck halls is John Carmen. In his what? <laughs> in your in your deck halls. Oh yeah, uh, no, they are. Yeah, well, it can't be can't be too dark here. No. <laughs> how you doing? All right, how you doing, man? I'm pretty good. I am feeling the the, the festive season. Excellent. So again, this is the last of the year. We're going to be looking back at the year that was, the year that's coming. Um, I, I, at least I didn't make everybody do a decade in review show. Because we'd be here for a while. Because oh. holy crap, <laughs> maybe we should do that. No, no, maybe, I, maybe we should do it for like the. I mean, maybe if we record something for like the 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 uh, New Year's Day one. I mean, we still got a spot. You never know. We'll, well the see. The decade officially ends next year, right? I mean, when you think about it, like, like there wasn't a year zero. So. Right, right. So, like, do we roll over? Like, well, I, we talked about a new century at 2000, so 2010 mm-hmm. rolled over. So, I, I think... Yeah, people are always off by a year. I yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think it's, that's how that goes. I, I did say the wrong year for our Wrestling Mayhem show anniversary last year, so the entire time, because I miscounted. <laughs> yeah. Anyways, this is the Awesome Cast. You can see all of our mistakes in uh, 474 episodes over at awesomecast.com. <laughs> and uh, you can uh, uh, subscribe to us on all your favorite podcatchers. Email us awesomecast at sorgatronmedia.com. Tweet us at awesomecast and hit us up on the Facebook page. And uh, we have a wonderful uh, pa- Facebook group where a lot of you guys will be, uh, I-, I think, already putting some of your predictions in there and a lot of stories throughout the weeks. And of course, you can uh, ask your Google Home and your uh, Amazon Echo. <laughs> 
and, and uh, other voice things to listen to the Awesome Cast podcast on there or make it part of your morning routine like I've done with some podcasts lately. And every uh, Tuesday in 2020, not not for the rest of the year probably, uh, you can check us uh, live every Tuesday on Facebook Live at 7 p.m. Eastern, streaming a lot of other places. And, of course, you can join us um, in the Facebook Live for the live chat, just like uh, I see Dave Podner and Kathy in there as well. And, of course, our crew is hanging out, too. And Ronnie Starks, what's up, Ronnie Starks? Uh, he'll be in later for the Mayhem Show. Um, and if you're catching us later on one of the other outlets or have some comments or want to tell us uh, <laughs> what we got wrong in this episode, tweet us at AwesomeCast with hashtag AC475. Thank you to our audio partners, the405media.com. They've been carrying us about every weekday over there uh, listening on their streaming platform. And our friends at Post Industrial uh, that's uh, sharing us at postindustrial.com along with some other great Pittsburgh podcasts. Also, thank you to our Patreon supporters, our friends at the Coffee Club $5 level, Matt Weller, John Dickey DeGore, and hey, John Carmen. Yo. Hey. And also at the Family Show dollar level, our friends uh, Michael Fedor and our friends at pghmuseums.org also supporting the show. Thank you guys so much. It definitely helps out and shows that we're doing something right. You guys are putting that in there at patreon.com slash awesome cast. All right, guys, it is time. It's the end of the year. That means awesome thing of the year. The whole of 2019. Uh, so uh, who wants to go first? I'll go first. Chills but I picked this. two things. You picked two things. It was but, one kind of, but I summarized them with one. So. Okay. Okay. So my my awesome thing of the year is dongles. <laughs> You're pro dongle. I am pro dongle. Okay. Um. <clears throat> so the first dongle is I think it's pronounced. <laughs> I have visual aids for mine. Hold on. Hold on. I, I was doing a show. It's touchy. It. Oh no! I didn't plug it in. Hold on. <laughs> so they made after the iPad was released late last year. They made this like USB-C hub to clip onto the bottom of it. Mm -hmm. And it actually has an HDMI port, a standard. Hold on, hold on. I got to get this cat with glasses out of my way. <laughs> I said visually. Before I can, I can do this. Oh, no. Now it's opening the cat with glasses. Oh, no. It's a lot of cats with glasses. Okay. All right. I'm back to this thing. I'm back to this. I just hijacked your awesome thing yes. here. All right. This do you want to go first? <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, no, I'm on your thing now. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> so, so it's a it's a Type C mobile hub, mm -hmm. and it has an audio port jack, an HDMI jack, Jeez. USB A, and USB C with 18 watt charging. You wouldn't think it would come in too handy when the iPad first came out, but when when iOS updated, and now the Files app, I can go right to my USB thumb drive i can plug in an, a portable hard drive hmm. i can display to any hdmi device i can plug in anything USB C. um the funny part was I, I never thought about it until someone from a vendor that shall not be named came in mm -hmm. and they forgot their USB C dongle for their surface book pro mm -hmm. or surface book sorry surface book and no one had any USB-C stuff. And I'm like, oh, here, you can use this off my iPad. Um, so I, I, it's, it's definitely come in handy. If you, if you look at your newer MacBook the Pro that you have, mm -hmm. they actually have ones that have two USB-C port plugs that it kind of clips onto the side of the MacBook Oh, so Pro. it like joins those together? It to... joins them together, and then you get more ports and more fun. Hmm. Um, more, I think some of them more ports and more fun show <laughs> title. <laughs> <laughs> I think there's one that's even a little bit thicker that has a full ethernet jack on the end of it. Um, so it, it's just a device that's definitely come in handy. I've used it way more than I thought I would. And I actually think I got it through Kickstarter. Um, before I like, I pre-ordered it before, before they actually had it on their website. Mm -hmm. My, my second dongle pick is the Microsoft wireless display adapter. You also wouldn't think that this thing would be as useful, but pretty much you can take this and plug it into any HDMI port and it becomes a Miracast device without the need for Wi-Fi. Um, so if you scroll down on the images there, um, and it shows the back of the TV, 
it's actually plugged into the HDMI port and it needs to be powered obviously. So there, but it, the way it, the wire is, it's just long enough to pretty much get to any USB port that's on a monitor. Mm -hmm. Um, even like I, I was stuck in a, a place and I needed to present something and I didn't actually have an HDMI cable on me, but I had this. So I plugged it into the HDMI port on the TV and then there was a USB service port that was meant for like diagnostics and repair, but it put out enough power to power this thing. Hmm. So I plugged it in and off I presented because you don't even need Wi-Fi. Cause it, it to, just, it just direct, it's just direct mirror cast. So as long as your device isn't a Mac, <laughs> you can completely <laughs> wirelessly display to this thing and, and it works relatively great. Um, mm -hmm. Good distance, um, powers up quick. Um, it does get firmware updates. You can do a bunch of configurations where you can password protect it. You can do a bunch of other things with it. Um, but the, these two dongles have gotten me through the year on many occasion. Mm -hmm. So I, I carry them with in my bag everywhere I go. So as a Microsoft wireless display adapter. Yes. Interesting. Uh, awesome. So, uh, who wants to go first on that? We'll, we'll go to the remotes here. Uh, anybody ready to present their awesome thing? I can present my awesome thing. Awesome. Mike? I, I, would, I would be happy to. I think um, for as long as I've been coming on AwesomeCast, I've been griping about uh, just not being comfortable taking the step of, of completely cutting the cord. Um, and as we, as I've, as I've, as I've said, uh, ad nauseum, pretty much it, it has largely to do with, uh, the, the sports stuff that I watch and just not being available or, or not being, um, available at a reasonable cost. Um, what happened this year is just this kind of explosion. Uh, uh, it, it is relatively inexpensive. Uh, there are a couple of new services, one that, that ESPN does that, um, is, a uh, really nice and it's only five bucks a month mm -hmm. and suddenly I am, uh, and, and we're actually going to, to do this right, like right at the end of the year. Oh no, um, you're on uh, the verge yeah. of this. I, yeah. Yeah. And it's, it has been, um, uh, it, it's, uh, the, the, the quality is really nice. Uh, we have, a I like the, the lineup that we have with, uh, with Hulu, um, and that's I did so finally uh, we're going to be able to do this and I will be uh, comfortable in um, um, making sure I still get to see everything I want to see. So thank you, nice streaming people, um, for, <laughs> for, people? for finally making this possible for for Uncle Crappy so he can still watch his stuff and not have to give Comcast a buttload of money mm -hmm. every single year, every single month. Mm -hmm. the, with the Hulu, because Hulu just price hiked, didn't they? Uh, 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 uh yes um it's it, it's still nowhere near that i, I would, the cost I would okay concerned about. Yeah, yeah yeah um I, it is it is uh it is not an issue in, in fact this is this that is uh, just as a base service is cheap enough that i can still uh, that i'm more comfortable going back and looking at kind of um premium stuff uh offered by sports leagues uh so i make sure i don't miss anything that i really want to miss but um but even the, the 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 stuff that's included in the package, excuse me, is uh is uh would would get me um would get me pretty far just on its own. Hmm. So this is this the Hulu with, or is this like the ESPN Plus package that, that we're talking? Uh, about? ESPN Plus is what I was talking about. What is what I referenced the ESPN service? Um, that is surprisingly thorough. Uh, and it's also kind of fun because it's a little bit like the early days of ESPN because there's some stuff on there that's just like. Okay, um, I mean, I can't find Australian rules football anywhere, but no. but it's sort of it's sort of that level. Um, but it does it does get into stuff that I that I I, I am interested in. Um, but but then you know Hulu has has uh, three ESPNs, um, uh, a number of different things, Big Ten Network, um, just in and of itself, it, it it does a nice job. So and then with the money that I'm saving, I can I you know if I want to get an NHL package. Or a major league baseball package, um, I, I can I can I can suddenly justify that now. So, so good stuff. Hmm. I like it. It, it. it does seem like it's kind of like everything's getting pushed over the verge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it is. Awesome, it is, and it's it's made a huge difference already. 
Excellent. Well, I, I hope you update us on how that's been going. And if you if you see any kind of hiccups or anything like that, because I know live streaming sports, we've seen that with wrestling too, like dropouts mm-hmm. and things like that with pay per views, or mm-hmm. or why is Twitter like completely spoiling what's happening in the next minute? <laughs> you know, things like that. So. I've worked out the Twitter thing. I can I can I can uh, I can set that aside during a mm-hmm. uh, when I when I want to, when I need to. But um, but yeah, I'll let you know. I'll tell, I'm I'm curious to see how this is going to go. Awesome, can't wait. Dutters, what's your awesome thing? Since we kind of Got a preview during Chilla's. Thank you for that. Mm. Cats and glasses. Cats and glasses, yes, apparently. Yes, this was the year Snapchat got us filters for our pets. Let me see if I... Oh, jeez. <laughs> so, so it's actively yep, it's pulling up... The pets' faces now. The pets' faces and seeing that. So here's a cat. I, is this a video that's playing? I yeah, think? this one's, this Hold one's on, the video. a picture. Uh, oh, wait. There's a, there's a cat with glasses. She's wearing, yeah. Okay. Has beans and glasses. Okay, there's another one. Glasses <laughs> and it has a little flowery hat. He's so, cute. so, so I've, yeah, I was blessed with a gaggle of kittens this year. So, um, <laughs> this is how you make them amusing give them Snapchat okay. filters. This one has a top hat mm-hmm. and it's upside not down. Amusing enough. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. extra amusing kittens. <laughs> but, yeah, so Snapchat finally figured out how to uh, find your cat and dog faces. And you could either just, you know, put the particular glasses or like this oh. was blinky eyeballs. There it is. Yeah. There it is. And then, uh, um, for a second. And then uh, there's there's other ones where it replaced it. There was points I didn't send it to you because it's very creepy. Where it's my eyeball and mouth on the cat's face, mm-hmm. <laughs> or you could just take selfies with the cat or the dog, and it would see both of you, and you'd both get the bunny ears or whatever. Or the, it was just, yep. Because so it's got to like actively kind of decide mm-hmm. this is a cat, this is a person, mm-hmm. right? This is. Look at this why, AR. Look at this augmented reality. I don't, know, I don't know why it reminds me hot dog, not hot dog on Silicon Valley <laughs> from a couple years ago, but. <laughs> But so we, 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 we've gotten bored with facial recognition that yep. we had to roll our uh, animals into it. Mm-hmm. So. And as you, as you saw in a couple of those photos, those cats are black, which is very, if you own a black cat, you know how hard to, gra- hard to photograph they are, oh, let yes. alone yeah, for yeah. a lens to recognize that it was a black cat. And it, the glasses are right on the eyeballs. It mm-hmm. knows. Mm-hmm. But smart. also a problem of facial with human facial recognition too <laughs> i understand so um so they've solved that there <laughs> but so hopefully it goes one way or another and helps that out so um yeah a partner says i know what i'm doing after awesome cast now. oh absolutely <laughs> you have to do it it's it's addicting i'm gonna see a smattering of cat mm-hmm. cat glasses afterwards Oh boy so dogs work too so i can yep. get wicked mm-hmm. on there um, mm-hmm. you're gonna make me download the snapchat again yep Maybe Damn. a turtle. Get a turtle. That'd be fun. A turtle? I don't have... I don't, <laughs> you need no. to get a turtle. No, I don't need to get a turtle again. <laughs> That's... We've been there. We've been down that road. Actually, we've been down that creek. The creek. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> that's that's, a, that's the cat with the human. <laughs> What's that? That's the cat with the human face. Cat with it human looks face. Looks like a half sock monkey. It does. <laughs> <laughs> I'll drop it in the chat. That's uh, that's what I'll do. All right. That's why you need to join us here live to see what so that's about. Or if you want to go thing. check out the live feed over on the on the on the uh, Facebook page afterwards. Cynthia, what is your awesome thing? Well, I I had a little trouble deciding, so I put two. I'll keep them. That's brief. fine. That's um, fine. Sheila did too. Uh, the first one was um, Oculus Quest, mm-hmm. which, you know, I, uh, I got to try one. I went to a, a meeting. Um, it was the, it's like a talk by Sean Patton, who is one of the, who is the design director over at Shell Games. Mm-hmm. This was a talk at um, the, uh, some, some local um, computing networking kind of groups. And beforehand they had um, their Shell Games game, I expect you to die, which is a your your you are as you might guess a like a James Bond type character, and so I got to do like the like the tutorial at the beginning where you learn how to pick up your gun and and all those things, and it was all with the, all using the quest, which was amazing. Um, you know, I, I I've never done a thing like that before, and I was I was blown away. And I I hogged the the demo for way too long, um, and kept other people from trying it for longer than I should have, but. Um, it was, it was extraordinarily cool. Um, I talked with other people who were there who tried it and, and, and actually couldn't use it. So, I mean, it's not like everyone can use these virtual reality things, you know, but for those, you know, I, I think they're going to continue to get better and better. And the neat thing about the Quest is, as I think most people know, is that it's standalone. So you don't need to have um, a high-end PC to use it. I mean, the price point's pretty high, but, um, you know, not more than a console uh, with the, with games and so on, mm-hmm. it was really fascinating, and I would love one. 
Um, and I think if you order one now, you can get it maybe in March, you know, because they're, yeah. they're all out of the stores. And it's actually starting for $400 for the 64 gig model, uh, 500 for the 128 gigabyte if you go on there. So, oh, so this isn't even out yet. Um, no, I, I believe they're out. It's just that they um, oh, are all sold out. Okay. Yeah. So it's like this, it, it's the uh, you know Cabbage Patch Kids of uh, 2019 mm -hmm. Christmas season. When this isn't this the one they also just came out with. You can buy. I mean, the cable is mm -hmm. ridiculously expensive. It's like another hundred dollars, but mm -hmm. you'll be able to plug this into a PC. Yeah, and also use yeah. it as a pair of PCs. And I think this also has the hand tracking. It has the hand tracking. It does. Cameras that was, and whatnot. It was fascinating. Yeah. And, yeah. and right now, I think it also comes with uh, Darth Vader. Mm -hmm immortal for free i well, want and when I you're using one. the things yeah you have to have one when you're using it like <laughs> they the controls are made such that you can actually have it as like a, a augmented reality experience not just a game you know what i mean so like it mm. has some amount of pass through somehow i think anyway it was it was it blew my mind so awesome. that was an awesome thing but of course i don't have one so in real life though what i actually needed in my life i got which was i have um added these um you know, go sun uh, controllers um, and, and they all have a little schedule. So I added one near my television and put my television itself on a, um, like a Wi-Fi um, power strip. And I now can force myself to go to bed so that, <laughs> <laughs> so, like I'm, you know, if I'm sitting up for way too long, the light goes off at, at 930 to remind me, hey, you know, you want to go to bed, it's week night, school night. Um, and it sometimes works even, which is great. When, I mean, it, the, the device <laughs> always works, you know, it's like me not overriding it sometimes happens as well. So uh, those are I becoming think, healthier. I yeah. think those are exactly <laughs> the same ones I picked up last week as well. Um, and, and it's just that, that little bit of saying, Hey, a, you know, a train, you know, turn on the living room light when I, my hands are full walking in, you know, uh, yeah. you know, this is like if my dog did anything. Uh, <laughs> you know, or, or or I set up the one here. I was just showing Chilla because I have a, a train turn on Batman. It's my Batman lamp when we have the lights <laughs> off, and <laughs> and uh, it you know, and I and I want to train it. My my kind of first foray into like kind of making um, rules for it is I wanted I want to say I am the knight, and then it turns it all off. That's nice. So that's my next task for it. But, uh, very good very good well you know i bought the power strip and it's one brand and i brought this go sun you know for these things mm -hmm. but the same app actually can control them all i noticed mm -hmm. when i installed the app for the power strip that it looked real familiar so i went over to the other app that i was already using and sure enough it could see the you know could see the um the bluetooth and, and or wi-fi or whatever it was and and um I, so i'm all controlling them all with the one app so i'm not using the whole google home or apple home yeah, or anything yeah. but just my just my phone but it still works pretty great i can't talk to it like you know cool folks like you and and john carmen there talking to your mates but someday soon <laughs> it'll come it'll come along i'm sure uh but the amazing part is that the, we we picked up another echo for like 22 dollars over uh Black oh yeah it's, it's like why not at that price right so well most because I'm tired of Amazon listening to me, but okay. well, is that too? Yeah. <laughs> there's that too, but but I think Google Google is doing similar things too. You can't have it oh, both ways, India. I know, I know. <laughs> well, that's I mean, I, I do. That's why I just do it with the phone. I guess that was my small concession to security. Was you know, I won't talk to it, but then again, nobody's gonna listen to me. So. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> or you could be chasing after um, chasing after uh, people stealing TVs from your porch, like Chill is going to talk about on next week's episode. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so it's when Chilla almost turned into a crime fighter. Actually, you kind of did. I, didn't I you? was like, you Batman. were, you were like Batman. And my court date is in <laughs> January. Oh, you got a court date already. <laughs> Find out more about that on the Christmas Eve episode coming up next week. Stay what? tuned on your feed. That's a chill. Right, right. Oh, we got a dog. Oh. Hold on a second. We got to check that Snapchat filter with that Chihuahua over there. Yeah, put some glasses on this bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Carmen, what's your what's your awesome thing? My awesome thing of the week is Duolingo for talking to children. Okay. Have you seen this? <laughs> no. It's not real. Okay. Uh, but C Cynthia did a wish list too, so that was uh -huh. my wish. But then my real awesome thing is the SNL sketch, Duolingo for talking to children. It's hilarious. It's and a thing I, I need to. I'm, I'm it yeah. was also, 
yeah, so it's doubly awesome because it's a thing that I would really use if it existed, and it's a hilarious sketch. And it's tri- triply it's awesome scary. because Duolingo is a local Pittsburgh tech startup. Mm-hmm. So it was really cool to see uh, a local startup on an SNL sketch. And then shortly after that, and I don't know if it was an SNL bump, but they became Pittsburgh's first uh, unicorn. So mm. that's that's awesome, too. And just for the the uninformed, a unicorn means other than a unicorn. It's a billion dollar value. It would be value. so awesome if they were a real unicorn. But <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Billion dollar value. That stuff. means you get enough money that you could buy a unicorn or genetically alter one, right? Oh, don't give him any ideas. <laughs> <laughs> so you said that's a billion dollar valuation. A billion dollar valuation. For uh, a tech startup, which is, and the first in Pittsburgh. We're just gonna leave it on you and the dog the first, for the rest of the, the show right now. By from the way, Pittsburgh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> awesome. So, uh, hey, you know what else is from Pittsburgh? Uh, we're gonna get into the uh, so. Well, first, the, next is the shaming round, the the victory or shaming round, where we're gonna talk about uh, what everybody <sighs> predicted last year. We hear the grunts. I hear the I hear the sighs. I got, yeah. I haven't seen what you what you what you said yet. I I, I try to keep these my own surprise as well but another pittsburgh original i don't know i don't know they're worth a billion dollars in my heart and my stomach our friends at slice on broadway supporting pittsburgh podcasting with perfect pepperoni pizza our good friends over there uh supporting us all through all through the decade even actually (laughs) so uh of course here in beachview carnegie pa east end and pnc park home of the pittsburgh pirates um go check them out and let them know you heard about them on the awesome cast. Thank you so much, you guys, for supporting the show. Um, so yeah, so we have some predictions for 2019, and it was kind of again. And I was looking at some others and and seeing how uh, how everybody else was kind of shaking out. Uh, you know, trying to look at some some year in reviews and and and, and everything, right? So Chilla, we'll go with you first. I'll leave crap here for last. <laughs> so, Chilla, you said. Video-based communications will grow to a point that starts to threaten audio only. I think I'm incorrect. What, is that, what does that mean? So I, what I was saying was, so what, what I saw in my personal life, and I still see it to uptick, uptake personally, but I don't think it's reached the masses. More calls come in and leave our house on like FaceTime mm-hmm. than we do audio only calls. Okay. I also see. I'm, so this is anecdotally. Yeah. I also see it oddly enough on the train. Mm-hmm. Like people have their earbuds in, mm-hmm. are talking on the phone, but they're FaceTiming. I think this is happening a lot because I remember when I was driving Lyft, I don't know how many people would get in my car FaceTiming with a person, no headphones. Okay. Which is also annoying. <clears throat> um, and that's just how they do it. And they would call several people during the course of a, of a ride. Katie's on her head too. You've seen this a lot. Oh, yeah, it seems then, a lot more then maybe I'm on. maybe I'm more right than I thought Ooh. I was. I think this is like an in the city thing mostly. But like I said, I see it at home. I see it at other people's houses. Oh. I see it around my building downtown. We've also seen. We've also we had somebody we were working with for uh, momentarily that instead of texting us messages in Facebook Messenger, they would do an audio. That drives me crazy. <laughs> it's just right? like so. I gotta listen. That's to this old message. people. It's old. That's old people. <laughs> hey, she was hey. not. Hey, whoa. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I don't think. I don't think she was old people that was having the, that was doing this. But uh, it was. It was an interesting decision. Um, but uh, yeah, uh, but, part, partner says that his dad defaults to FaceTime instead of phone calls now. My my mom always always calls me on accident on FaceTime. Does that <laughs> count? What I wish you could. You know, what someone needs to do though. I think what would seal the deal is if you could leave like a video message. Mm-hmm. Like you still, voicemail is still just audio. Mm-hmm. Like once I think we can get to like leaving a video mess message, mail, whatever, whatever you would, you can't call it Vmail because that's also voicemail. But mm-hmm. once we can leave like a video message, I think that's what's going to be the the nail in the coffin for just voice only in general i don't know about that i mean there's times i don't want people to see me (laughs) (laughs) yeah just want to be heard (laughs) no i agree but i feel like it's becoming the default 
Well, well, when you have commercials, like I just saw the one of like I think it was like Jenner, was it J Lo and one of the Kardashians were using the portal, or the Facebook portal or something. So mm-hmm. were the Muppets, like but... in the Muppets too. <laughs> this is the first time where I saw something that was not a a, a sock. Uh, talking on this thing. There's a service I would not trust with my <laughs> video. <laughs> but man, they're yeah. putting the they're putting the marketing dollars out there. Oh yeah. So I mean, I I think it's creeping in, and as younger techs are getting it for their parents, like I think that helps. The, the other thing I've seen is like the abandonment of the phone number, mm-hmm. because like I get almost as many, and I don't get a lot of calls. Mm-hmm. I'll just say that right right away but i get almost as many calls on facebook messenger as i do legitimate calls i get a plenty of spam on my home on my normal phone number oh yeah but it's begun i get as many calls on facebook messenger as i do really really i only got carmen there's so many carmen earlier tonight like i i feel like like my neighbors and stuff no one gives out their phone number anymore yeah like i don't uh, yeah, yeah, projects yeah, sometimes, but uh, yeah, I, I don't know how much that's happening. Yeah. So, all right. Next up, Cynthia, I put up. your turn. Okay. Your- I um oh. last year was saying um that Netflix would uh you know maintain the lead in the U.S. but uh, they'll lose ground outside the U.S. and I didn't know whether that was true or not, so I googled it. And I was way wrong. <laughs> 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 yeah yeah well i mean disney just took off so i think that's the only real competition you would have had right well um in the u.s they're you know they're doing fine but the point is that they're growing and they're growing mostly outside the u.s so in the u.s they're kind of like growing a little but outside the u.s it's huge um because these other services just don't seem to have the penetration in there so yeah. So yes, I just I don't know. <laughs> do you think they're growing also outside because of larger proliferation of high speed internet, or do you think it's just? Well, from what I'm from what I'm understanding, it is um, yeah, it is partly that you know sort of five um, G is becoming more of a reality, and you know other countries that do not have like the infrastructure that the U.S. had, they kind of get to leapfrog ahead, and so mm. they've got faster technologies than we do. Um, so, so I think that is, is playing a factor here in the same way that the, you know, when, when phones and cell phones, mobile phones, um, they grew faster outside the U S than they grew in the U S I think it's a similar phenomenon. Hmm. Interesting. Well, um, I, I, I seem to have thought that a new social media or media player will arise. TikTok. I think TikTok. TikTok, TikTok is I becoming don't. pretty TikTok, big. Yeah. It, it, it's the latest thing that we're like, ah, maybe I should figure out TikTok. And, um, okay, boomer. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still on Google Plus over there? We can't even get you on Snapchat. Come on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, my, my Instagram, my Instagram game's been on this year, though. Are you I, on the Instagrams? I, I'm on the Instagrams. <laughs> Jeez. Is it the boomer? Is it the boomer Snapchat? Is that what that is? <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, boy, uh, Uncle Crappy. <sighs> well, see, the, the thing... I won't make you read it. I won't make you read it. AI will become more prevalent in journalism. And uh, was this? Did you write this from last I wrote, year? I wrote that. I wrote. I wrote that. The thing after that. And um, okay, I, I was thinking more of of applications for for end users for 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 our consumers, and uh, I, I still think that's a, a there. Are, there's all kinds of potential really cool applications for this. Mm-hmm. Um, what, what we started to see instead was uh, the rise of kind of, of uh, automated reporting, automated, especially automated editing. Mm-hmm. Um, and that's not a good thing. Oh, uh, especially yeah. if, you're, if, you're, if you're a human being working in the business. Um, we have like, a, like, like the sports articles that are completely generated by computer, yes. right? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You, you can feed that stuff in. Uh, they're, they're, they're remarkably accurate. Um, and it's just, and it's, and it's just completely wooden and cold. Mm-hmm. Um, but I, 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 if, uh, um, we have enough challenges as it is. <laughs> and, uh, so I don't, I don't, I, it, we're, we're just not at the point where, um, they can replace the job of a beat reporter or, um, uh, or a, a good copy editor, but it, and and the the latter I think is where that's uh, going to be um, 
that, that's where it's going to be an issue first. Um, uh, the, the company that has come into to Pittsburgh in the last year or two, uh, Gatehouse, they, uh, they buy, uh, when they buy newspapers, one of the first things that they do is get rid of the, the, the local copy desk um, in favor of a, a centralized location. It might be in the state or it might be in the region. Mm -hmm. um, and much of what they do uh, much of what the, the fact checking and, and uh, the other stuff, the other functions of a copy desk uh, can be done automatically, but it's done completely devoid of, of any kind of uh, local knowledge, local experience, institutional knowledge. Um, so that is, I was sort of right. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We'll give you a but half not, star not for that a, one. Not in, not in a, not in a happy way. Um, <laughs> All right. Do you think, but it seems like there's a lot more auto curation, even like when you look yeah. at the launch yeah. of Apple news and everything, yeah. I, I would, yeah. I would give you more than a half star. I'd give you two stars. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. Um, no, and, and there are, there are, uh, there are useful ways to do this, I, but it's, it is a situation where um, if this is not, if this is implemented in a way that is not, thoughtful and and strictly to to hold down costs um and certainly i can't you know that's that is a that is a, a legit concern uh, everywhere in the business mm -hmm. um it, it can turn out to be something that's really awful um but so i i, I don't I, I i don't know how far in that direction uh things will go um, i'm sure I, news organizations will make a perfectly positive and informed decision on this because we always do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, and Krauss is not here to defend himself. I believe he is still mm -hmm. preparing for a Christmas um, uh, production of some sort. So, uh, But uh, he says he, he thought that we would see more integration when it comes to home automation. People are going to start uh, talking to everything. Uh, well, I think we have more people have things to talk to. But well, I guess what we got the, like the uh, the uh, uh, Echo toasters and stuff and microwaves this year, didn't we? Yeah, I feel like there was a before Thanksgiving there were more of the A train start the washer, A train preheat yeah. the oven, yeah, yeah, X yeah. degrees. Yeah, um, so that integration is getting into more of the house, right? So is that, that's what we're talking about. Show me what's in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, and it's, 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 I mean, you know, this is still in a lot of those cases, probably the higher end stuff, but it's, it's still accessible. It would be interesting. Cause I feel like I've seen not just the Samsung stuff, but like your general electrics. I wonder if by the end of this year, it will just be standard, mm -hmm. almost mm -hmm. like smart TVs, like it's getting harder and harder to get a TV that's just a bunch of dumb HDMI ports. Mm -hmm. Like everything, whether it has Roku built in or it has Android TV or Samsung has their flavor of smart TV. I feel like every TV is now mm -hmm. some type of smart TV. Um, I wonder if we'll just, it'll be like power windows in a car. Mm -hmm. Like, you, do they still sell cars with the old crank window? People know what I'm talking about. <laughs> Does anybody, yeah, anybody, okay, I don't think they sell them anymore. I, I, I don't think, I don't think they do. And I guess that's my point is I think we'll start to see where these phase in and that's it. Sorry, I was looking ahead to your predictions. Uh, so oh, I got to get a prediction. You gotta, where uh, are they? Um, I just saw Carmen's. It's, it's, it's the next thing down. Um, <laughs> anyways, so. And, and I realized I didn't give a I didn't give an awesome thing of the year. <laughs> so, Dutters, you weren't here. I think Kraus replaced you last year. Yes, I wasn't. Did here. you have a prediction for 2019 that you had somewhere along the line? It was something completely correct. Yes, Snapchat would have pet penalty <laughs> <laughs> and just made it under the <laughs> hey, wire. Look at this! No. no, fantastic. Verizon would finally have it on a limited plan. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, well, anyways, hey, we've been doing a lot of stuff here in 2019, a lot of stuff here at Psychic Media Services House right here in Sorgatron Media Studios. Um, from sporting events to music video production, hell, we made it We made it to new states this year with uh, some MMA in, um, in uh, North Carolina and, of course, all over the place with our friends with SA International, which actually that is my awesome thing of the year that I didn't mention was uh, working with uh, Auto Drive Challenge and actually doing some video and some content uh, around General Motors and some automated cars that we worked for. 
uh, worked with uh, earlier this year and returning here in uh, 2020 to see the next phase of that uh, when we go down to, I think they're on the other side of Ohio for this year's um, um, event. Uh, but go check out what we got going on. Help us. Uh, we can help you uh, as a sidekick to your superhero project. But next, next big thing, can we help you with sidekickmediaservices.com? All right, let's get into Chill. I see you really want to talk about channels, but let's do that on gold. No, you have to just do that yeah. later. Let's get into our predictions for 2020, as some of us are still sitting here trying to come up with them. But, uh, Carmen, I think you got one that, that really relates to um, what uh, what Chilla had going on. First of all, you skipped my prediction from last year that there Did would I? be a baby Yoda. That there would be a baby but- Yoda? A baby Ding. version of Yoda. Yeah. Ding. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You get a, you get a giant billion-dollar gold star for that one. I don't know if that came true or not. I haven't been watching TV, but okay. um, so my prediction for this year uh, is that for next year is that Bezos, Jeff Bezos, will recruit more. I don't want to say an army or like a clan, but I think it's kind of like a, a, a Foot Clan kind of thing. He will recruit more of these porch pirates to sell more of the uh, the ring doorbells. I think that they're porch pirates. <sighs> Do you not know they're called porch pirates? No, is that seriously what they've been called? That is what. Yes, that's, mm-hmm. yeah, that's what they're called. Are you? Oh, so you're not on next door? No, I'm not on <laughs> next door. Not regularly. No, next door is like. Next door is Instagram for pictures of porch pirates. Okay, and it's it's mostly just a next door is mostly just a package theft, fear mongering. Mm-hmm. Oh, Created you should by- cue my video from last week. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah give, no, give a preview that, of uh, that's a nice preview for next week's uh, home automation special. Actually, yeah, there is so created you know a, a fear created by Jeff Bezos to sell uh, ring doorbells because. You've never heard of Porch Pirates before Amazon bought Ring, right? Mm -hmm. Uh, And I think that once that fear dies down, the mania dies down, he's going to need to recruit more Foot Clan to to steal more packages to sell more Ring doorbells. I don't think he needs to recruit more. (laughs) Just because you were personally affected by this. Yes. You're just like, there's enough of them. (laughs) I have a missing package at home. We got all of them but one. Mm. It's the least exciting of all the packages, oh. dum dums. <laughs> I feel yeah. like you don't have a missing package at home. It's probably somewhere hiding. I well, yeah, I, I, I didn't start with a package, and <laughs> you know, I think part of the problem sometimes too, though, and you know, I'm sure the next door people are all you know way aware of the world, but like the these weird delivery services also deliver things consistently wrong. Like we regularly mm-hmm. get in my building deliveries that are supposed to go across the street or a block down or mm-hmm. whatever. They I get that. Like with... They're not even reading the address. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I but get that just with the, the U S postal service. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, yes. at, le- at least on Amazon, when you see the picture of your package, you're like, that's not my porch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, porch it's all part of the marketing plan. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see what we got here. Uh, Crappy, what's your what's your prediction here? Oh, th- this is not going to be good. They're, the election, the, the presidential we election. You do not have a positive um, outlook. <laughs> mm, I don't. I don't. Um, it, it's I, it, it's going to be a mess. I I I, I don't think uh, there's a there's a lack of political will to to do anything about it on a national level. Um, and then at a state level. Um, there were problems. Now, what with, election uh, are you? I'm referring. I'm referring to the, there's um there's a there are a couple coming up next year that uh, okay. b- that might be kind of a big deal. Um, I don't watch TV. It, it, well, and, and people in foreign countries might be interested in these as well. So that's and I think that's a big part of the issue. There, so lack of lack of political will in in Washington to to come up with a national solution, even even funding to help states deal with this. Um, and then during the, the general election last week or last month, there were problems, particularly with uh, in, in counties in the eastern part of Pennsylvania that had new machines um, and grossly miscounted, uh, 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 at least in the, on the electronic side. Th- these, um, these do generate uh, paper ballots, too, which can, you can, that you can go back and count those. And that's, that is a good part of, of uh, uh, some of the changes that are happening in Pennsylvania. Mm-hmm. But uh but it like in in uh in uh in, in a couple of counties in suburban philly uh there was a judge's race that 
um, one judge was said to have received 150 votes out of uh, a possible uh, 50,000 uh, people who actually cast ballots. Um, and they found out he actually won by a few thousand votes, but hmm. the initial displays uh, were a mess. So you don't know. Uh, so there, there's there's problem just with with the, the, the tech kind of at the, at the base level. Uh, you don't know how secure they are uh, from from any kind of uh, outside uh, issues. Um, I I just I, I feel like this is this is not going to go well uh, in, on on uh, on just strictly on a on, on a level of technology and and, and running a presidential election, mm -hmm. um, and then that opens the door for for all kinds of questions about the actual results. So stay tuned for that. It's going to be fun. <laughs> I think whether or not, no matter who's elected, they're going to say that there's some oh, sort of technological oh, issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. they're getting the blame no, no, matter no matter what, what happens. happens. They're getting it, well, the text yeah, getting just the like blame. The, just like the whole Facebook is against us, Republicans have been saying, and, and, mm -hmm. and it, it, you mm -hmm. know, whichever side, you know, it's, yeah, yeah. No, Like, we've already kind of set up the dialogue for this, haven't we? Yeah. With everything yeah. last um, week. And that's, I mean, there, there's, that that is a whole different, uh, a whole different issue. Uh, and, and how people deal with uh, when when facts are presented to them, um, but the the fact that there I, I, I expect technical issues with the election uh, is not going to make that any easier. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hmm. I almost want to go to Dutter's thing that she's completely formulating <laughs> I mean, right should. now because uh, we're we're all watching it getting typed <laughs> into the chat room here. <laughs> And it's kind of it kind of goes along with this, huh? Yeah, I think I think Zuckerberg says uh, f this noise and sells Facebook, uh, or at least accepts <laughs> that. Well, uh, Google just left. Yeah, I think he the, just like... the, the Google founders just left, just as like, hey, this we this is getting hard, mm -hmm. and we have to deal with it. You're just washing the hands of it. <laughs> He's like, goodbye, guys. You know what? Not They're my problem. They're that private island I own. Goodbye. Yeah. Did, cool. they, did anybody else watch Silicon Valley this season? Well, they touched on I a lot of this. Um, mm -hmm. I, the, recommended. Uh, as always, because they get a lot right, and strangely, um, so 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 will he keep WhatsApp and Instagram? Well, no, no, no. I, well, what you're saying that Zuckerberg's just going to leave. Yeah, he's just, oh, he's, he's he's gonna, gonna, just like yeah. going to be done, just like the Google founders have, right? Yeah, he's yeah. Just, who, who could? No one could buy Facebook. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -mm. no, not at this no, point. You can't afford it. Well, either that or he'll be become like the silent. Like he'll still be there, but not. Hey, how Bill Gates stepped aside for a bit and was mm -hmm. on the board, maybe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's a consultant. Yeah, <laughs> that role. Yeah. That well, then he can. Time. He can. Well, he already started his his charity work. You know, so I don't know if you guys saw the Bill the Bill Gates documentary about his charity work uh, mm -hmm. that Netflix put out, but uh, yeah, I think it's very possible. I, we are kind of in that generational thing where all the original minds are kind of leaving. Mm -hmm. We're just left with Elon Musk. He'll become president. He'll become president <laughs> somehow. He's going to take a Tesla to Mars. <laughs> yeah, seriously. He already did shoot one Tesla into space. So, all right, uh, let's do Chilla. My prediction is PC sales are going to plummet. I feel like you threw this out. This feels like a 2014 prediction. <laughs> Was it? It feels like I feel like I've seen this. You, for a while. you need the ten year in review so I can keep track of these things. Oh, okay. So, so the the <laughs> the method to my madness is, <clears throat> I feel like over the last two years with the looming Windows Seven, except in your world where you just run things till they're they fall <laughs> apart. Um, <laughs> Thanks. The everyone's been trying to get to Windows Ten because yeah. Windows Seven goes end of life. Yeah, in <laughs> January, like in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. I, by the way, I saw like some sort of uh, webinar on how to deal with the Windows Seven end of life <laughs> advertised in my feed yesterday. Well, and I mean, they're they're now Microsoft's now to the point where like depending on your corporate licensing agreement, you can get free upgrades for a year. It was going to be twenty five dollars mm -hmm. the first year, fifty the next year, seventy five the year after that per device. Mm -hmm. Um. So I feel like a lot of people have either been doing massive amounts of OS upgrades on the corporate side or people are buying replacement devices for the home. Um, I, I think because of that, we're going to see a, a sharp drop off in sales or people, people that didn't upgrade are just going to be 
cranky and say, you know what, I'm just not replacing my computer. Um, I'll just go with my phone or whatever my tablet or whatever is. Um, and I, I think it's going to cause a, a large drop off. Okay. It would like, we're finally at that thing with the iPad. It just like, just use this. Yep. Yeah. Just a lot simpler. <laughs> What surprised me was my, excuse me, sorry. What surprised me was my mom called me and said, or texted and said, how do I, how do I get a, what Bluetooth keyboard will work with my TV? (laughs) With my TV? Yeah. Like she's not even interested in like Netflix on any other device. She's like, I'll just use my smart TV. But I want to use my, I want to use a keyboard. Yeah. Huh. Interesting. And she has a web browser on there and. Yeah. Uh, John, were you about to say something? Well, yeah, I thought I'd take an opportunity while Chill was coughing to say I loved how aggressive you were towards Sorg. You seemed up, actually upset with Sorg for keeping Sorg is up. like anti upgrade. It, it kind of <laughs> makes me a little. I want to see you guys butt heads about this. <laughs> <laughs> but he, then he enables me. He's like, "Here, take this dock that's going to make your uh, 2013 MacBook work." But your but your 2013 MacBook, I bet you'll still support. The latest OS version. Yeah, yeah. Wait, but wait. but did you upgrade? Well, yeah, I did actually. Okay. It was the first. It was my test machine to upgrade. Okay. It was because it's not it's not a vital piece of hardware right now. But uh, but I am. Then we were just talking about my 2007 iMac at home. But I'm I'm not. It's just to, to have a computer there, yep. right? Because we literally have not had internet since till recently. So you know, but now I'm defensive. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> in in defense of the the downgrade. Offensive to downgrade. <laughs> Listen, man, I, I'm trying to do a lot on a little budget. So. Oh no, I totally get that. <laughs> so, all right, uh, let's go. Who's? Oh, for you guys filled this out. Cynthia, what you got? So, um, so as I understand, can you guys hear me? Yeah. Yep. Yep. Okay. Yep. Right. So, as I understand it, the uh, the the powers, the big the big console players are going to be releasing big consoles in the next year. Um, but I think the world is more about, um, the small games that switch and, um, you know, uh, things that you can, um, run on your computer. So I bet that those consoles aren't going to do as well as their makers maybe want them to. Mm, mm. It's so weird, isn't it? Because I feel like they've kind of like, I think there'll be new games for this, but they just announced like that new Xbox that looks like a PC tower like a small PC tower is going to play everything back to the original Xbox. So yeah. like they've taken away that generational thing when, yeah. and with like Stadia and X cloud. And I can stream yeah, the game to yeah. my, whatever device I have in hand. I to Cynthia, I, I, I totally agree with you. Yeah. I, I don't think these are going to catch. No, mm-hmm. it, be- I, I mean, it's really a different market now than it was even five years ago. It's just, it's just a different world. I, you know, I would look at what my nephew plays and my niece play, they're all about their iPads and they mm-hmm. can do all kinds of things on them. My nephew has different switches at, you know, at his parents' houses and they're just happy with that. And that's who, that's, I think, what the future is for these things. I was actually having a great discussion the other night at a comic book pit holiday party with Sean Atkins about how he's trying to get his daughter to play and even like the neighbor kids that when they visit to play like Super Mario World and they just can't sit and wrap their heads around it you know they have what four buttons or two buttons if it's older mario on their like super nintendo mini or whatever right and uh and they're you know they're used to just you touch and something happens you know which is kind of a good skill but also like i don't know like that tactile thing doesn't happen i guess so i I, are we going to see like different um skill sets coming out of kids or deficiencies in that because of this so yeah like the way the people don't do handwriting anymore yeah yeah, yeah exactly that oh. makes me think though i mean did you guys uh, again i'm showing my age here but like the old atari the original atari you know that joystick thing with the one button, one button. you mm-hmm. know <laughs> i miss it <laughs> <laughs> well you you can get well now you can buy that one button joystick that has 10 games on it so or 30 or whatever the case may be right so that's that was just tear, tearing apart my old like controller that basically has one nintendo game on it for, for batteries for the lights behind which i don't even think i put in frame 
It would, you know what? There is There are Christmas decorations behind you guys on the couch that nobody can see because I didn't put it in a frame. Pull it over one side or another to prove that we're Christmassy here. Um, but, okay, I, I think everybody else went, right? Right? Am I missing anybody? Mm-hmm. Okay. Everybody. I think we got everybody. I missed myself earlier. So, so okay. I thought about this for a second. Um, I think I'm going to see you're, you're going to see continued growth in alternate alternative shopping methods, uh, displacing or moving workers. And I'm thinking of like I think is it the Amazon Go where you, like there's no checkout. That they're I, doing mean, in- I got to go to one in Seattle. Oh, it was, it was wild. Oh. You know, <laughs> I'm I had my luggage with me because I was going to be going from one place to another. I was there for a conference, and um, so I went in there and I, I had I felt like I wanted to buy things. So before I walk in, of course, you have to have the app. I bought, I, you know, downloaded the app, got myself signed up with my, you know, Amazon login, go into the store with my luggage and I'm wandering around and I like picked up candy bars to take back to the office. Um, and then I found like a different section of the store, had different candy bars. And so I took one of the candy bars from the one part of their place and put it in the other place as a test. And it worked. <laughs> <laughs> and then, you know, I got an email. It says, here, we took your money. Uh, here's your <laughs> Hopefully we were right. Yeah, hopefully they hopefully yeah we we didn't mess this up. So it was it was so it was so wild. I mean, I I, I, I it's still magic to me. I don't mm-hmm. know how it works. Well, it looks like I, I'm I'm watching what Walmart's doing a lot, and I, I I'm amazed. You go to the Walmart up in Cranberry, and like half of the area is self checkout now. It's the mm-hmm. biggest self checkout area I've seen anywhere, and and I'm realizing because uh-huh. then you have there are people literally shopping for you. When you log into the grocery app and say, I want to do a, a curbside or a delivery. So mm-hmm. now all those people that are usually just sitting there just bringing stuff through are now just going and doing that. I th- I think the numbers work out at least that way. But there's other tasks like that, like that or the uh, pickup kiosks or or, you know, the, the you know, the, the shop and pickup, you know, kind of options there. I, I think there's something at Ikea now where they partnered with, is it Tasker? Like Task Rabbit, Task Rabbit, maybe. I think Task Rabbit, like IKEA, you can oh. actually have the person go pick up the thing for you and bring it to your house and put it together. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So I, I think, like, I, I thought about the other day. Like, I went and just saw a movie by myself and realized that I literally like did everything with my apps. I pre-ordered Chipotle to get that so it didn't take as much time because I only had like 15 minutes before the movie started. By the time I got out there, I had gotten the movie ticket with my phone and then i ordered a coffee from starbucks to grab on the way home <laughs> you know <laughs> you know like completely just had a day and didn't even think about it right and and i think you're going to see that grow as um and, and again i don't know if this is you know there's that whole like hey self-checkout means people are losing jobs but really i do think they're kind of just moving to other parts of the store that mm-hmm. you don't see right it's, it's like it's like it's like a stealth mode for the employees now because they're they're going around doing a, a cart full of stuff for somebody that's going to have a pickup at three o'clock. Right. And that's happening at giant Eagles. It's happening at, uh, we had all these delivered on uh, Instacart and it's literally like a guy goes in there and shops. <laughs> it picks up everything. Mm-hmm. It's, it's incredible. And, and I don't have to be the one doing it. <laughs> so, which is like the worst thing. So, but, uh, well, it has been a lot of fun guys. I, it, it looking at this and that's, that's, you know what? That is not too many dreadful, <laughs> good job on the positivity in 2020 guys <laughs> <laughs> except for crappy crappy uh, you can tell he yeah, works sorry. for a newspaper because he's like listen this is how this is how <sighs> shit's re- listen this is how shit's really going down in 2020 <laughs> <laughs> well thank you so much everybody uh first of course john chichilla at chilla on the twitters chillatech.net and chilla on the twitters john chichilla on the facebook look for our special with him next week dutters hi i'm dutters uh, do you have anything you'd like to plug Sure. No. Just, just I just exist. Just follow her for the uh, <laughs> stuff cat, and things. Cat Snapchat. Yes. Right? And uh, Star Wars this week. Star and Star Wars we this week. That's Star right. Wars. We get yes. New Mandalorian Wednesday. And yes. Then Star Wars Thursday. All Star Wars down. So we'll see if mm-hmm. I survive my. Oh, wait, New Mandalorian Wednesday. Mm-hmm. Yeah. There's, there's, I thought it was Friday. They're not bumping. this week. No. Nope. Friday. Oh, yes. oh. Watch through the credits. Uh, mm. oh. Did you see that? Watch yep. through the credits. Yep. They they bumped it up to Wednesday. They're going to do a sneak preview of the or sneak peek or something at the uh new star wars movie i know they were teasing that there might be something from the mandalorian in the new movie mm. Mm. it was the very the, it, it was like 
watch this on Wednesday, dot, dot, dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what are you doing, Disney Plus? So Uncle Crappy, he does things in a newspaper variety. I do stuff in the newspaper. You can you can join me on, on a decidedly old tech thing uh, by subscribing to PG Feed. It's our uh, my, my daily curated newsletter that I try to have some fun with. So um, Man, newsletters really, it feels like newsletters had to come back in the last year. Uh, they have had a comeback. Yes, um, we have a mess of them uh, with a, a, a few more kind of in the pipe. Um, I, as I, I, I wrote this in the notes, we're really good at adopting at readopting old technologies. We've just um, my newsroom is discovering podcasts. Um, <laughs> welcome. Yeah, they're, they're, it's, it's going over well. They're going well, really well. But uh, welcome. Yeah, like six. I know. Thank you. <laughs> And, we're good at that stuff and it's from like you had a video show for the longest time so yes, it's still yes. it's still with beer me of course right <laughs> absolutely absolutely excellent and my hands are full yeah. so i can't switch on carmen uh <laughs> twitter.com slash carmen avenue there you go and of course the anti doing some great stuff over there I I am, the you're on mute you're on mute you're on mute no, I'm not. There you are. Hey. <laughs> um, I guess you can find me over at Twitter as well. Twitter.com uh, slash Cynthia Klosky. There you go. And again, thank you, everybody. We will be back in whatever the first Tuesday of January is. Uh, full on with the with the show. And uh, uh, well, depending on the Penguin schedule, I guess. Uh, but... <laughs> Um, and, uh, and thank you everybody. You know, this past year has been really awesome. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of growth all over the place, um, including seeing a lot of new faces in the chat rooms and everything through awesome cast. And I want to thank everybody that's been supporting the shows and everything going on, um, that we've been uh, working with, with Sorgatron media over the last year and hell the last decade or so, because this is, this is about a decade old podcast. So, so we're, we're getting, we're, we're getting old guys. Uh, so um so thank you everybody for that again please uh look out for the uh holiday ash, uh, episodes uh hopefully i will get a, a, the next two weeks of specials for you guys and if you want something a little bit different uh we're going to do a holiday special for wrestling mayhem show uh that's that's recording after this so look at that look for that in the uh, uh news feed and also uh, I'm going to have another holiday special with the sexy, talented dudes, the STDs. Those are the ones that were that got me drunk the one year. Boop the internet. And I booped the internet. So there is fair warning for that. And I think the first time I've said publicly we're going to do that uh, Wednesday at 7 p.m. So please join us for that. Everybody have a happy holiday, new year, and everything. And we'll see you guys next year. This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.